Hi, my name is Jack. I'm a clinical scientist at the Heart and Lung Clinic at the Royal Stoke Hospital. A CRTP is a cardiac resynchronization therapy pacemaker. Um, it's used um, for people whose main pumping chambers of the heart, the left and right ventricle, um, struggle to pump um, efficiently and in time with each other. Um, and this can often cause symptoms of breathlessness, dizziness, or generally lack of energy and fatigue. Uh, the device works um, by us placing a pacemaker lead into the left and the right ventricle, the two main pumping chambers of the heart. These two leads will then stimulate the muscle on both sides of the heart to pump in time with each other and this can help um, improve the efficiency of the heart pumping function um, and hopefully reduce the symptoms of shortness of breath, fatigue and dizziness. Sometimes there's also a lead in one of the top chambers of the heart and that again just improves communication with uh, the different chambers of the heart. Typically you might not notice any difference straight away. Um, over time you may see an improvement in symptoms uh, and that includes the shortness of breath um, and the general fatigue. Also after the implant um, you might feel a bit of pain or discomfort up at the shoulder and this is something that should ease over a few days or weeks. For a CRTP device, you will need to stop driving for one week and inform the DVLA. It should not affect your license, but this is something that uh, either myself or one of my colleagues can discuss with you after the implant um, to make sure it's clearer for you. A CRTD stands for Cardiac Resynchronization Therapy Defibrillator. Um, it can be split into two parts. Uh, the CRT part of the device um, uses a lead, a pacemaker lead, in the left and the right ventricle, the two main pumping chambers of the heart. By stimulating these parts of the heart, it can make the heart pump more efficiently and hopefully improve symptoms of heart failure, which include shortness of breath, dizziness and fatigue. The second part of the device, the defibrillator, it uses one of the leads that we've placed into the heart to detect abnormal and potentially life-threatening heart rhythms. In doing so, it can then provide therapy such as pacing faster than the heart rhythm or a shock which can hopefully restore the heart back to a normal rhythm. You might need one uh, because you have been diagnosed with heart failure and have symptoms of heart failure such as shortness of breath, fatigue and dizziness. You may have previously had a heart attack or may have some trouble with the electrical system of the heart. Because of all of this, you may be at risk of potentially life-threatening arrhythmias for which the device will be detect and hopefully be able to treat. Initially after the implant you should feel a bit of soreness up at your shoulder and this should ease over a few days or weeks. Hopefully over time we should see some improvement in the symptoms of shortness of breath, fatigue and dizziness and this is something that we will review um, regularly when we schedule your follow-up appointments. You typically will feel a shock, um, sometimes it can come with a warning, you may feel palpitations or dizziness, but the shock itself sometimes is described as a kick or a jolt in the chest. The shock shouldn't hurt, but it can be a bit of a jolt or a surprise, especially if you don't expect it. If you do feel a shock, there are a number of things that we recommend. If you feel a shock and you generally feel well, we'd urge you to call our department on the number that we will give you after the implant. If you have a shock and you feel really unwell, we'd recommend calling 999 and come into hospital via the ambulance. After a CRTD device, you will need to stop driving for one month. This is something that can vary per person to person. So it's something that we will discuss with you after the implant and will be provided in one of the patient information leaflets. If you've had a shock, you will need to stop driving, but this is something that we will discuss with you uh, once we've reviewed all the information from the shock.